Hello there, it's Laura Davalo here with another interactive card tutorial for you. As soon as I saw the Jolly Molly stamp set, I knew that I wanted to make a fun slider card with the cute doggies. When the slider panel is pulled, they grow to almost double their length. The mechanism is really simple, but today's card does involve some fussy cutting and drawing. Ok, let's start by creating a simple mask out of printer paper, so that we can partially stamp the first dog. After stamping him, I'm just gonna cut a curved line to get rid of everything to the right of the sweater. Now I'm going to stamp him again onto a piece of Copic friendly cardstock, but with the mask in front of it. Uh, it didn't turn out perfectly the first time, so let's repeat that. Off camera I did the exact same thing to partially stamp the other dog. I made a mask cutting everything to the right of the sweater hem. I also stamped both of the dogs on another piece of cardstock so that I could later fussy cut them. This next step isn't really necessary, but since I already had the stamp on my Misty, I shifted the paper to the right and stamped the dog with the Santa hat again as a reference. Next, I grabbed a set of rulers and a pencil to lengthen those partially stamped bodies. This uh, second dog has a slightly more curved back, so he'll be a little skinnier, but the procedure is the same. We need to draw two parallel lines to lengthen his body. In my prototype I made the dogs a lot longer, but I think it looks better if they don't go over the edge of the panel. So let's grab a T ruler and measure how long we want them to be. Ok, so 2 and 1 8 of an inch from the hem of the sweater looks about right. Now we'll apply the same measurement to the other dog. Although it doesn't really matter if one is longer than the other. The sliding motion will stop when it reaches the spot where that dog is adhered to the panel. You'll see what I mean in a moment. If you have sheets of thin double-sided adhesive, you can adhere a couple of pieces to the back of the static or motionless body parts before fussy cutting them. And if you don't like fussy cutting, you could use the matching dies and just trim off the pieces that we don't need by hand but I find it really relaxing and fun. Ok, if you do fussy cut, use a black marker to color the edges. It makes such a big difference. I also added some glossy accents to the noses and eyes to make the puppies come alive. For my sentiment, I slightly modified the joy piece Love Dynamics to write Pause, Love and Joy instead. I die cut each word out of cardstock backed with double sided adhesive three times to be able to easily stack the letters and give them some volume. So here I'm spelling out the sentiment on the main panel to see that everything fits, but before adhering the letters in their places I need to cut a couple of slits in the main panel. Let's peel off the backing of that double sided adhesive to adhere the static part of the dog to the panel. Before pressing down on it, I'm going to check that it's as straight as possible. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to repeat that with the back legs of the second dog. This adhesive doesn't form a permanent bond until you press down firmly. Next, I'm going to use a craft knife to cut a couple of slits in the panel. I couldn't find my good one and had to use this broken but pretty one instead, so I didn't do a very neat job. You just need to carefully cut right on the edge of the image and try not to make it too wide. Here I'm using a black marker to color the edge of the cut, and I totally forgot to do that with the other dog, so if you look at the card from the side you can see that it's white. Instead of cutting a notch in my main panel to be able to grab the slider panel, I decided to add a little 1 and 3 quarter inch circle, also die cut with one of the dies from the slimline slide in Dynamics, and here I'm stamping the word pull from the interactive label set on it. Next I'll adhere it to the edge of the slider panel and back it with another circle to make it sturdy. 
I'm using a bone folder to figure out where to trim the second circle and now I can adhere them together. And there we go. After this I'm ready to assemble everything. Let me just draw the outline of the slider panel on the back of the main panel. It will later help us to center the slider panel. We're ready to adhere the moving parts of the dog to the slider panel. I'm going to use the original stamp as a reference and adhere a piece of washi tape so that those back legs won't shift. And I'll do the same to the other dog. There we go. After this we can flip the panel and add strips of strong double-sided tape to the edge of the sliding pieces. I also cut 3 sixteenths of an inch or 5 mm wide strips of scotch tape and 1 3 eighths of an inch or 1 cm wide strip for later. Okay, I'm finally ready to peel off the backing paper of the moving elements and carefully adhere the slider panel to them, or rather them to the slider panel. Let's try to get it as straight as possible. Next we can carefully peel off the washi tape and test our mechanism. It'll be a lot easier to fix any problems now before we adhere the panel to the card base. This looks good, so now we can add a strip of washi tape so that the panel won't move while we adhere foam tape around it. The magic of editing lets us quickly move on and here I'm adhering the panel to the 8.5 by 7 inch card base of Amarina Sherry Prestige cardstock. Testing once more before moving on. Now all that's missing is the sentiment. I'm using a T-ruler to get it as straight as possible, which is important in these types of clean and simple cards. And here are a couple of pictures of the finished card. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to create this card, you'll find all of the info in the description box. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Bye bye. Hasta la próxima.